Hello guys, welcome back into another video here on the Banjo Attic page. This video is just going to be somewhat of an add-on video to the video I've done on the straps because I filmed that video <clears throat> four or five days ago uh, after Steve in the comments made a, uh, and several people has made comments about straps and so I thought I'd make that video. I made it about five days ago. And Stephen pointed out, and thank you Stephen for pointing it out, uh, I was not aware of this, but you can take this uh, particular banjo strap and this comes loose pops out you take this and run it through your let me just show you you can take this and just run it underneath the hooks on your banjo and then you run this other side back through it and it hooks on to your banjo like that and then you plug it back in if I can do this without dropping stuff anyways then you hook it back in and you go to the other side and do the same thing down here and we're just gonna do it all while we're here might as well push it through under the hook and you can use this banjo strap like this which is fine and that is uh that is there's no problem that's a perfectly fine way of using this banjo strap and i completely understand that my main point the other day what i was trying to make on that deal and this is the only example i have uh of this mainly the closed end loops like they have uh, leather straps that wrap around each other and stitch and things that are stitched that are one full deal one full strap and it has the hoop on the end those are the ones i was mainly talking about but i really didn't pay much attention to the strap when i started using it and you can do this with it if it has an, a, a detachable strap on the end if it has a detachable end you can run the loop in underneath your hook on your banjo and then bring this through it you know bring your little clip through it and then pull it tight perfectly fine the only other thing guys that i wanted to talk about that i noticed in the video now that i've watched it back um is I was talking about hooking this hook down here on the banjo in the front, you know, and I have mine down underneath the banjo right here and it flops over, right? You can take this hook right here and hook it up here closer to the neck and that way you can get your distance in between, you know, not halfway across the banjo. Like if it's down here, you know, of course it makes it halfway across the banjo and it wants to flop. You can bring this strap actually and hook it up here up top to, which will give you more of the percentage you need of your banjo straps being not past the center line of your banjo if that makes sense i just like mine down there for some reason i really can't tell you why but if you want to not get past the center line of your banjo when you're using the strap with the clips uh try to uh hook it up here closer to the neck which is perfectly fine a lot of people hook them right here on these first two past the neck and the first two right here past the tailpiece no problem with that i just like it on around there for some reason i don't know why can't give you an explanation of why I like it down there, but I just do. And that's how I've always done them. So anyways, guys, uh, thank you, Steve. Thank you, Stephen, for the comments on the videos. I greatly appreciate it. I don't want to ever lead you guys wrong. So if I do, call me out and I'll be more than happy to make it right, guys, because I don't want to mislead anybody on any information I give on this page. So uh, again, guys, thank you all. And we'll see you in the next video.